A new Omicron sub-variant dubbed Eris heralds COVID-19's resurgence. Alpha Delta Omicron are all COVID-19 variants and they are all Greek letters of the alphabet. And now we have Eris as a variant. And Eris is the Greek goddess of strife and discord. This is demonic. The EG5 Eris variant is now the dominant COVID-19 strain in the US. So as I said, Eris is the Greek goddess of strife and discord. And we know coronavirus has brought that over the last three years. Eris was the goddess or personified spirit of strife, discord, contention and rivalry. She was often portrayed more specifically as the daimona of the strife of war, haunting the battlefield and delighting in human bloodshed. I keep talking about war, guys. Many of the Greek gods and goddesses enjoyed inflicting in pain, suffering and destruction, but few took as much joy in it as Eris. According to legend, she was the cause of many wars, including the Trojan War. She was also the cause of famine and disease, which I keep talking about. Where there was suffering, it was a safe bet that Eris would be blamed for it. She was often portrayed as a demon, haunting the battlefield and delighting in the bloodshed, along with her son and her brother. Because of Eris's disagreeable nature, she was the only goddess not to be invited to the wedding of Peleus and Thetis. When she turned up anyway and was refused admittance, she raged and threw a golden apple amongst the goddesses inscribed to the fairest. Three laid claim to it, Hera, Apophrodite and Athena. And in their rivalry brought about the events leading up to the Trojan War. It's interesting how LeBron James's son just had a cardiac arrest and he plays for USC Trojans. Eris was closely identified with the war goddess Enyo. Her Roman name was Discordia. So this right here, guys, is Eris. Now, Big Pharma is sorcery, guys. I've talked about the World Health Organization numerous times. Pharmakia, an abstract noun meaning sorcery, magic, the practice of magic arts. The concrete noun is pharmacon, whose primary meaning is poison. The World Health Organization's logo has a snake in the center of it which connects to the Garden of Eden. Obviously, the snake tempted Eve to eat from the forbidden tree of knowledge, and she did, and that was the fall of man. And we know the media is witchcraft. I've written about this in my illusion book. Now, the goddess Medea had a great fascination with the magical arts, which is the mainstream media. She is often depicted in myth as a priestess of the goddess Hikat, who had power over magic, crossroads and doorways, and who was known for her role in repelling evil spirits. So, Medea, greatest fascination was with the magical arts. Medea, almost identical to Media. It's crazy what is going on in this world right now. It really is, especially when you study the Bible. You know why all of these COVID variants are named after Greek letters of the alphabet. Because it's to do with Revelation 9-11. That's why the Queen died 911 days after coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. Corona translates to crown. The crown is now on the head of King Charles. And Revelation 9-11 
and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Why do you think when man went to the moon, in quotation marks, it was Apollo 11? Hey. Again, I've written about the moon landing deeply in my illusion book and also in my Donald Trump book. If you haven't purchased those books, I recommend you do. I recommend you do, guys. So this is really deep now. It's really deep. It's spiritual. It's spiritual wickedness in high places. It's these demons who call themselves goddesses and gods, but there's only one true God. And Jesus, the King of Kings, will be coming back for his crown. Mark my words. Cheers, guys. If you want to check out my website, the link is in the description. And have a blessed weekend. God wins.